This weekend, October 2nd and 3rd, 2010, brought the annual return of the Gloucester Grand Prix Cyclocross Race. Fitting man against man, woman against woman, and everybody, amateur, pro, beginner, children, and even a couple senior citizens, against Stage Fort Park. My name is Coley Bryan. And I live in Gloucester, and I race my bike today. And how was the course? Oh, uh, it was really fun. Uh, Gloucester's tough. It's really rumpity, bumpity kind of course, but they've done such a good job setting it up. A lot of really fun corners, and there's always something interesting to keep it going. It's definitely the best crowds all year. You can race all over New England, and you'll never find crowds like you get in Gloucester. The race not only brings experienced riders like Coley to the course, but also brings newcomers and old timers alike. I'm 17 from East Lyme, Connecticut, and I race for Mystic Velo slash Watson Cycles, and I'm here with my grandpa. Yeah, from David Reed. Uh, I race for Mystic Velo. Um, 70, I'll be 71 years in uh, November. It's a challenge. The runoff is as tough as I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, some of the technical forces. When you say the run-up, can you just explain what the run-up is real quick? It's a very steep um, dirt section that you have to get off. You have to dismount and run up uh, uh, to a level spot and then rebound. The race also attracts seasoned pros like Sally Annis, who came in third on Sunday for a podium finish. Year racing here, and it's always an awesome race. Super fun. It's a beautiful town, and uh, I've had really good weather when I've raced, and a great crowd, so I always love coming back to Gloucester. Yeah. So it's a uh, great race, and uh, just beautiful. Yeah, the race for second and third. Um, Laura and I came into the pavement. She was a little bit behind me, but she's one of the top sprinters in the country, and she can sprint, man. Fast me like I was standing still, but uh, so I rolled in there. While the race showcases the city's natural beauty, it also boosts local business. Hi, uh, my name is Scott Bumpus. Uh, I'm the owner of Seaside Cycle in Manchester, Mass, and I am the uh, director of the hospitality tent for the Great Brewers Grand Prix of Gloucester that's put on by our cycling club, Essex County Bellum. And we're in our 12th year. Uh, we've had over, I believe, 1,700 uh, riders race this weekend. Uh, it's our biggest year ever. We had tons of people out on the course yesterday and today. Uh, just a great race to get out and watch if anybody's never even seen a bicycle race before. This is just a great venue and it's the, one of the most highly uh, anticipated races of the year in the cyclocross. It, everybody across the country in this sport knows about this race and the, some of the top pros say it's the best course and best venue anywhere. So, uh, it's great for business here, it's great for uh, people of booking hotel rooms. I've got people uh, that have been coming in my shop from California and uh, Canada as a result of the race. So it's really been phenomenal and the local support's been unbelievable. So uh, we're really fortunate that Boston uh, supports the event the way they do and the people that uh, run the park and everything, it just, it's all come together seamlessly. So we're really happy with it. Now that the race is over, the park will soon return to normal, at least until next year when cyclocross returns.